YouTube. What up, man? It's your boy Street Tate. I'm back. Another comparison video for you guys. Listen, man. If y'all are new to the channel, if y'all are new to seeing my face, man, listen. Go in my channel. Look at all the past comparison and collection style videos that I've done. The whole point of my comparison videos is to help you out. Help you decide if you'd rather cop the last time a particular shoe retro or just cop the most recent release that's on store shelves right now if the shoe hasn't sold out of course lately my last couple comparison videos except for the top three video that I did the uh, top three Jordan ones video I'll link that one right there um, pretty much my most recent comparisons y'all can pretty much still find those particular shoes on shelves so y'all can kind of decide if y'all want to cop them or if y'all want to go in the past and cop the last time that shoe came out Maybe something is different on it that you like. Maybe it's quality. Maybe it's materials. Who knows? That's all up to you. That's y'all's opinion, man. And my whole point is to help you guys out, man. Now, y'all know I don't upload like that. Y'all know I don't fill y'all's timeline with a bunch of BS. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like videos that I upload could be considered timely because folks still search for videos years and years as they get older. And folks still watch my joints that I made a long, long time ago. So I just stay in my lane. I like comparisons and I like collection segment videos. So my next collection video is going to be the all red collection. My top 10 uh, all red Jordans. I pretty much have all of them. Uh, so, but uh, here's a picture that I posted on Instagram right here. But uh, that will be my next collection video. And I'm going to drop that when the ball drops New Year's Eve, man. So I'm just going to publish it exactly at 12 a.m. on January 1st. You know what I'm saying? So y'all look out for that. Y'all probably be getting drunk. Y'all probably be at the club at that point. But I don't even care. I'm dropping that joint. Ball drop Jan 1st, 12 a.m., man. So y'all look out for that, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe if you new. <laughs> Follow me on the gram and snap. So we have your 2010 altitude 13s versus your 2017 out of 213s the lifetime of this shoe this is the third time that the shoe has released the first time was in 2005 and it was the same quality materials as you see here now from 2005 five years later 2010 they came out with this version that has kind of the the mesh upper like your bread 13s have and other very popular uh jordan 13s like your flint 13s now both of these I have in my hand both dropped in 2010 and for, for whatever reason Jordan brand was not feeling the whole reflective material 3M behind the mesh type shit so instead they put white cloth stitching to make it look like it has some type of reflective uh, material behind the mesh when actually there's nothing reflective at all on these two shoes so for whatever reason in 2010 Jordan brand was not with the whole 3M reflective shit that we all know and love so both of these versions from 2010 your Flint 13s and your Out 2 13s both just have simply white stitching behind the mesh so um, you know it is what it is I, mean, I know there was some copyright issues because people were calling it 3M when 3M is an actual company and they are completely unrelated to Jordan brand so of course um, they had to kind of change the name and call it reflective instead of 3M you know what I'm saying so I don't know it is what it is all I know is I'm glad recently Jordan brand has been bringing back the 3M in their uh, 13s man I really really like the reflective material behind the mesh so First time, 05, it looked like these, all leather. Five years later, 2010, it looked like these, all mesh. And 2017, seven years later from this release, we have the original looking version back again in your all leather upper. Let me know y'all's thoughts on both of these. Let's go ahead and go to the comparison table. Knock out the comparison, come back, and get y'all out of here, man. I appreciate y'all watching, man. Let's get it. And the boxes, 2010 version came in your black silver Jumpman box, 2017 version came in your remastered original box. Retail price on 2010 version is $160, black altitude green. Fast forward seven years later, retail price on the 2017 version is $190, black altitude green. They both have the same style code with different color codes, 42 on 2017 version and the color code 2 on your 2010 version. Go up to the toe boxes. You can see that it is the exact same quality on both as far as leather and tumbledness. 
go to the tag on the bottom of the tongues is a Roman numeral 13 on the 2017 version and it's simply a gray Jordan on the back of your 2010 version now the tongue leather exact same quality on both the exact same type of shoelaces the altitude green is on both of your Jumpman on the tongues your 2010 version your Jumpman has a slight butt crack y'all can see there and it is a much more better quality stitching on your 2017 version the green is a bit lighter on your stitching on your 2017 version and here are the outsides of both shoes y'all can see everything lines up well going closer we see that the gloss is on both midsoles the traction pods are matte on both as well y'all can see the stingray pattern is on both shoes on the 2017 version the stingray pattern has a little bit more smaller dots while your 2010 version has kind of bigger dots it's also a gloss finish on your 2017 as y'all can see it's kind of a shine on your 2017 version and it's more of a matte on the stingray of your 2010 version now obviously the biggest differences are the sides on your 2010 version it has that mesh material with white cloth stitching behind the mesh it is not 3M it's not reflective and of course your 2010 version it is a pretty good quality leather going all the way down and around and here are the insides y'all can see again everything lines up well they both have the same stingray that I was talking about on the outside of both shoes the differences here is the carbon fiber dot size y'all can see on the 2010 on the left there it is bigger dot for carbon fiber smaller dots on your 2017 version but beyond that everything else lines up well of course the stingray is a little bit more glossy as y'all can see on your 2017 version on the right it is more matte on your 2010 version and here are the backs y'all can see everything lines up well height midsole already talked about the stingray go ahead and go to the interior see that that the ankle lining the tongue lining the thickness is exactly the same on both shoes the size tags are on the back of both tongues as y'all can see there we go to the insoles they both have black insoles with altitude green Jumpman y'all can see my 2010 Jumpman there has a uh, <laughs> some leg problems you know what I'm saying for being worn damn that motherfucker look fucked up and the bottoms y'all can see that the 2010 version has a brighter altitude green than your 2017 version that has a darker altitude green and we're going closer the paint that separates the traction pods is white on your 2017 version and it's a silver gray on your 2010 version so y'all can see there so that the size of everything lines up well uh, the carbon fiber dots are bigger on your 2010 version and smaller on your 2017 version there now as far as your hologram it is yellow on your 2010 version and it is a green on your 2017 version as y'all can see there a little bit of a hologram color difference there and going on down the same thing on the bottom here with the traction pods and the paint that separates them as far as the paint quality on the pod separation areas it's not very good y'all can see the paint kind of spilling over there kind of spilt all in there same top here not very good paint quality on the bottom there but it is the bottom so really who cares all right youtube welcome back man you already know what's next man which one you rock 2010 2017 let me know which altitude 13 y'all rocking with man I'm really a big fan of both of these. So I was really happy when they retro the original version in this all leather form. I do like the 2010 version as well. I do get a lot of wear out of these joints, but having them back in the leather version really just so I was like, yo, these are a must cop, man. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? So y'all give me all y'all's thoughts down below. I read all my comments. I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on the gram and snap. Look out for my ball drop Jan 1st 12 a.m. collection all red video. Damn, I'm trying to say that shit five fucking times fast. But yeah, man, so I appreciate y'all. You can't just say you real. It's something you got to be. Listen, man, more comparisons and collections coming.
<laughs> oh shit. So this Jeez. video is a comparison of your 2013 black gold all patent leather joints versus your non-complex kind exclusive top threes. This is the comparison of your 2007 release New Love versus your 2017 release Jordan 1 New Love. So back in 2007, your New Love came in a pack. 